Hi, I'm, I'm Ken Rumbold, CEO of MRTC. Um, we specialize in motorsport communications and have been doing so for many years. Um, really, we started the, the business, shall we say, almost by mistake in that we didn't see that motorsport was a big enough market for communications back in the in the late 70s, early 80s, but we stuck with it. And um, this is why we're, we're where we are today, should we say, in terms of uh, leading a lot of the, uh, the market and the technologies that are going into communications in, uh, in the motorsport industry. Well, like everything um, in the racing environment, um, how can I put it politely? Um, radio is completely unnecessary, completely irrelevant. And it's bottom of the of the list of jobs to do before you go racing. But when you get to the motor race, if there's an interruption in comms for 30 seconds, uh, the, the world has almost stopped revolving, if you know what I mean. It's, um, it's absolutely essential uh, because I think people realise that if they're allowed a small amount of communication, that they can actually encourage a driver to um, to do certain things differently, should we say? Then uh, that's really the way um, the, the way comms is used. It's uh, I think the authorities have tried over the years to control it, but uh, essentially the driver has got so much information in front of him and he's he's busy he's busy doing his job. But if somebody can give him a small input and a small hint, then that's it's worth uh, it's worth a fortune to them. The, the beauty of the, the Clearcom product, um, without any doubt, is is um, is the IP uh, side of it. We started with with working with Clearcom more than ten years ago, um, and the products that, that were were introduced then were, were revolutionary. The the IP solution was just so simple um, and could easily fit onto uh, the networks that the, the customers were starting to uh, develop in their garages and stuff. So yeah, IP again is flexibility. It's minimising infrastructures so that in a garage it's just a case of running some cabling uh, or putting some Wi-Fi access points up. Um, it's not a big deal um, to actually uh, get stuff working on site. And also when we're connecting, which we often do to other other parts of the um, the organisation, for example, we connect directly to a lot of the TV. Uh, companies that are producing the, the 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 show for the race meetings, we connect to them by Mardi, we connect to them by Dante, whatever goes straight into their uh, into their systems, so we can give them high quality audio without having to go through the um, the analog process. Should we say? Yeah, age and I see. I mean, I'm I'm always nervous about um, any um, software applications. We say I'm I'm old school. I mean, I, I prefer a, a piece of paper, you know, all this, this newfangled Dante and Maddy stuff and uh, an agent I see, um, uh, although it gives us lots more uh, flexibility. Um, I'm, I say I like the, the ways where you can put a, put a piece of cable in and, and make it work. With agent I see, we tried to convince the customers that they shouldn't use something like that for, um, should we say, mission critical um, applications. Um, but we've been proved wrong with the product. Uh, it works so well and it's so reliable. And it, as, as, uh, as you see in some, the, the applications for it are endless. And we've got a lot of situations now where, with the pandemic where customers, senior management just don't want to go uh, to, to risk going to a racetrack. And so we've got people with Agent IC remotely connected into their system who, and they may be, uh, shall we say, uh, lounging on their yachts somewhere uh, somewhere sunny while um, while their team are working hard in a, a cold area of the world trying to win a motor race. But um, yeah, the flexibility for Asian I see is, is endless. So um, we are, we're now we're now promoting it um, strongly and allowing customers to use it for what we would term mission critical applications. Yeah, I mean, we're now starting to introduce uh, free speak two into a lot of applications because the, the sheer flexibility of it is, um, is is what counts and what wins over two-way radio. 
Um, with a two-way radio solution, yes, you can listen to multi multi channels, but you're scanning those channels. Uh, it's simplex voice, um, and customers now feel that once they've sat down at an intercom panel, they don't want to go back to the the good old days of simplex speech and lower audio quality. When they can move to something like free speak, where they get multiple channels, they get um, much higher audio quality. And uh, and are able to to carry on their business, shall we say, without the worry of of missing information. There's one thing we've worked uh, a lot with uh, with Clearcom and uh, with Kenwood, the radio uh, radio supplier, um, for for some time now, is to integrate the two uh, the two systems to get data from a two-way radio uh, to give driver IDs, user IDs, and actually have control on the intercom panel. So the the basic uh, systems that we're providing now have got the ability for from an intercom key to talk directly to an individual radio on uh, on a single radio channel and uh, give all the identity, give all the messaging um, that's required for that application. So it's it's revolutionised what we can do for the should we say the lower uh, racing series, because the the expense of trying to have uh, individual communications required lots of radio channels uh, or other solutions to uh, to give them the multi users on on the system. Well, uh, Clearcom. I mean, as, as I said earlier, the um, the IP connectivity is just. Uh, just a, a world beater in the way that it uh, it's given us the flexibility to to work remotely. And in, in fact, for um, an event just at the um, uh, the shall we say the restart of motor racing, um, I was able to to remotely program and manage and monitor a system in Germany um, while the live event was going on. So we got a certain number of guys on site. But the actual uh, intercom monitoring, which is very simple connectivity via uh, via VPN, we provide basically many of our customers. We provide a simple VPN connection, and so here, well, I mean, at the moment, I'm I'm sat at home at the moment, and I've got connection here. I can talk to the uh, simulator, the racing simulators, and teams in I've got, I think I've got a couple of French um, manufacturers here that I can connect to a couple of German manufacturers. So basically, if they have an issue on site. We can we can talk to them uh, over the intercom. We can reprogram, uh, and again, it's, um, it just means that we we're not uh, we're not needing to go to so many races. Yeah, COVID has come at a time when everybody was looking at, particularly on the TV side, um, everybody was looking at remote production, and I think we will see over the next couple of years, certainly in motorsport, that where the um the tv production people are having to reinvest to to give the uh, the remote production but at the moment it's uh it's a bit of a hodgepodge of some on-site work and some some remote but i'm sure certainly in the next uh, 12 18 months um many more uh, motorsport and, and other sporting events obviously will go to tv remote production and at that point even more um, connection via intercom. <laughs>